Hi, I'm Chauncey Navarro and this is The Inspired Word. We're doing a verse-by-verse -verse study through the book of the Revelation of Jesus. Uh, the last, we're in the third chapter of, of chapter 13, and in the last two verses that we were covering, we tied the beast coming up out of the sea in, in chapter 13 of Revelation to the prophecies of Daniel in the Old Testament, the four beasts coming up out of the sea and the statue from the dream of Nebuch King Nebuchadnezzar. In verse 3, it goes on to say, And I saw one of the heads as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. Now, we established that there were seven heads, and now here we have a mortal fatal head wound. There's some direct ties to this back in the prophecies of Zacharias in the Old Testament, where it talks about the fatal head wound from the war and battle where, um, where his, you know, uh, eye is damaged and his arm is withered and these have all been associated with prophecies towards the Antichrist we're going to see how this beast doesn't just represent this empire but it also represents the Antichrist who's ruling this empire this one world empire uh, during the tribulation time and here we see the mortal fatal head wound is miraculously healed and the world marvels over it. This has been directly associated with a the Antichrist having a fatal head wound being killed and him miraculously coming back to life. Now, the Satan does not have the authority and the power to resurrect. He can only do counterfeits. He can only do fakes. And there have been a lot of speculation on different things that the image of the beast will be a clone, that um, you know, with the new nanobite technology that they have for healing, that this comes in. I mean, there's so much speculation that goes on in so many areas of this, and, and some of it is very valid material. Uh, but we're just going to continue on to the next verse. We're only covering one verse at a time. Uh, in this chapter, there seems to be a lot of material in each verse. So we're going to see you back here at Inspired Word for verse 4 of chapter 13. Bye.